Hello, everybody. This, well, I am Genna, first of all, in case you didn't know. Genna. Yes, that's right. That's my freaking real name. I know, it's ridiculous. Anyway. Ooh, there's a radio mast in the background. Okay, so basically, this is going to be a really different game to what you're used to. It's a really different game in general. There's barely any interactivity, and the story is just basically the thing that drives it, and the immersivity, immersiveness. I don't know even why. I don't. I don't know even know why I said that. Um, I'm just gonna tell you from now. I don't know how funny this will be, and I don't know how much I'll commentate. Um, but I think it's gonna be. I really wanted to play this for a long time. It's apparently great, and these. This is actually. I think it's just one guy. I'm not sure. Let's check credits. Um. Uh, okay, already it's not one guy. Uh, okay, it's quite a few. I'm not sure who, but someone part of the crew is actually working on Amnesia 2, a mission, a machine for pigs. So um, anyway, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be different and awesome, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just go. Ooh, 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 and apparently this game is really really impressively really impressive graphically like apparently they're mind-blowingly awesome don't get your no no, no lower your expectations just a bit it's great it's great a bit higher up yeah there you go that should be right right it's it's apparently it's gonna look great but you know don't don't imagine like sorry i know uh, i was scratching my beard i don't know if you yeah i'm sorry about that whoa this is a freaking long loading bar thing um <coughs> Huh. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to talk. I don't know. I'm going to try to comment a lot. I'm going to say my thoughts, maybe. Um, but anyway, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't make like, a lot of humor. Maybe there Dear is. Esther, oh. The gulls do not land here anymore. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When he first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly, and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Three hundred years later, even they have departed. Was this made in Source? It looks like it. Wow. Um, I don't think you guys can hear the sounds. But there's a lot of ambience going on. Anyway, yeah, apparently there's... What the? What the? Oh, okay. Apparently... Wow, that's way too realistic. <laughs> apparently there's barely even any inter interactivity. Like, I'm not turning on the flashlight. It does automatically. Can I close this? Uh, okay, holding left mouse zooms in slightly. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I actually... <clears throat> I was trying to get my bearings and understand what the hell was going on. I didn't really listen to the beginning. I probably should have. Uh, I'm gonna when I edit this, I guess I'll go listen to it. Wow, this looks really nice though. I'm sure this was made in Source. It looks, it looks a lot like it. Source engine, same one as Half Life and stuff like that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try to be quiet more because <sighs> taking the fresh air. Can I? Ooh, okay. Wow. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave, and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Now this... I hope I'm not missing anything. Hopefully. I wanted to go to that radio mast. Can I go in the water? I want to go in the water. Ooh, splashy. 
<laughs> oh. What the hell's happening? Oh. Hey, hey, what's up? I'm back. Okay, that was. I think I'm not supposed to go in the water. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, plastic bags. Guys, for the last time, stop throwing away plastic bags. Do you realize how long it takes to erode? There was once a talk. I erode. What am I talking about? Away, <laughs> away from the rage and the intolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. Well, what the hell is this? I think it would have been nice if this was kind of like Mist. I don't know if you guys have heard of that game. Where they had kind of a few puzzles. I think there aren't going to be puzzles in this, or at least not many. Wow, the music is really nice. I have found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Oh. I kind of want to see what I can actually do. I think I'll turn off the sensitivity just a bit. I realize it's meant to be kind of slow and, you know. There, let's see. Zoom in. Quick save. Okay. Swim up, Q. Okay, that might be useful. Alright. Okay, that sound... Oh, what the... Those sounds are... Kind of... They take you out of the immersion, but oh well. Quick save. Alright. I keep trying to jump, but that would just look stupid. And yeah, break the immersion. Alright. Let's see if I can actually go anywhere. I'm... If I managed to already get myself like a lost. Oh no, don't die. Damn it! What the hell? Well, it's a long walk back. I don't know if I should cut stuff out. I guess if I'm walking back like this and I'm not saying anything that I can. I'll see you when I get to that staircase. Alright, let's do it. Okay, one step at a time. One, two, three. Alright, I think I'm used to it now. Oh, man, I'm pro. Look at this. I don't even have to stop to go upstairs. Wait, what do you mean you already do that? What? Whatever. Stop lying. Just, guys, please just stop lying. I think I started at that lighthouse, I'm not sure. I just realized they really do, uh, it's really clever and very subtle the way they kind of, it's linear, isn't it? It is a linear game. Like, I'm just drawn to Reading the radio mast. by the weak afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it doesn't really break immersion. They just, it's, it's obvious that you kind of want to go there anyway. Whew. It's pretty windy up here. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat and notice and aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until 
Whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Oh, but it is also of the mind. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... You may see me like running to walls and stuff because I find it kind of easier to concentrate on the dialogue if we I read the subtitles. We are not like Lot's wife, you and I. We feel no particular need to turn back. There's nothing to be seen if we did. No tired old man parting the cliffs with his arms. No gifts or Bibles laid out on the sand for the taking. No tides turning or the shrieking gulls overhead. The bones of the hermit are no longer laid out for the taking. I have stolen them away to the guts of this island, where the passages all run to black, and where we can light each other's faces by their strange luminescence. Hmm. Ooh, is that the boat he was talking about? I don't know. I really don't know. Dear Esther, <gasps> I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a heartbeat going on in the back, and it's kind of making me uneasy. Outside your retreat, in this interim space between cliff and beach, I would leave you loaves and fishes, but the wow. fish stocks have been depleted, and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. You know, I read people said it would be nice if it had a bit more interactivity. And I kind of agree. Like, they gave examples. Like, it'd be nice if you could just, like, maybe grab a pebble and then throw it into the water. Like, I think that would that'd be nice. If you could grab stuff and... You know. Nothing major. Just maybe pick small stuff up. Because you kind of... If you get immersed, you want to try to touch it. What the hell is that? Is that... That thing's turning around as I turn. Wait, did I? Okay, I already came from here. What? Oh, it's freaking can. <laughs> Wait, let me go back here. I'll cut this out. Okay, so there really is nothing in here. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go next, but I guess I'll just look. I go there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I can't go there. I stood in the center of the sun, and the solar radiation cooked my heart from the inside. My teeth will curl, and my fingernails fall out into my pockets like loose chains. 
If I could stomach, I'd eat, but all I seem capable of is salt water. Were the livestock still here, I could turn feral and gorge. I'm as emaciated as a body on a slab, opened up for a premature source of death. I've rode to this island in a heart without a bottom, all the bacteria of my gut rising up to sing to me. Even if there was no story, I think it'd be really interesting to just walk through this island. Right. See, like, it would be nice if I could pick up that book, maybe flick through through the pages. I'm trying to figure out if I should go there. Uh, let's go here. Actually, let's try explore a bit. I'll save so I don't have to walk all the way back here in case it's nothing. But yeah, the music in this game is really great. Wait, what was her name? I saw her in the credits. I think it was Jenny or something. Good job, Jenny. Alright, it's quick load. Quick load. Yeah. Okay. I feel like looking up isn't. It's really weird. It's kind of like the whole world is shifting. I don't know. I hope you didn't hear that. I just belched. I'm sorry. I ruined the moment completely. <laughs> oh god. See, this is pretty unsettling. 